Hello students, welcome you all on your PDA panel. So again today we are going to discuss the 5 most important problem related to spanning tree. You may face these type of problems in your NIC exam, fine. So start with the first problem that is let G be an undirected connected graph. What is given? Given is G be an undirected, undirected, it is a connected graph. The most important point is edge weights are distinct. Now let E max be the edge. We have a edge that is E max with maximum weight and E min. It is not mm, it is E min be the edge with minimum weight. Fine. So we have two edges. One is E max and next is E min. Fine. And also we have distinct edge weight. Keep in mind this point. Fine. Now. I, we have to told which of the following statement is false, fine. So the first point, if I talk about first point, every minimum spanning tree of G must contain E min. So as the graph is distinct as weights, so suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So this is my E min and this is having, this as having weight is my E max. If I can draw the spanning tree, spanning tree is like this, that is 1, 3 and 2. So the first point is every minimum spanning tree of G must contain E min. Why? Because we have distinct edge weight. We have distinct edge weight. So first is true. Next, E max is in minimum spanning tree, then its removal must disconnect the graph. As you see, we are not included the E max. Fine, we are not included the E max. Fine, <coughs> but we have one more case. So, suppose my graph is like this A, B, C, D, and this node is E. Now, my weights are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, what is the spanning tree of this graph? one five two and three fine that is a b e c and d so now see the maximum edge weight is five that is e max fine so if i if the maximum edge weight maximum edge weight is included in spanning tree then if i can remove this edge then graph will be disconnected so again the second point is true Next, no minimum spanning tree contain E max. It is wrong because there may be a case where we can include E max. Fine. And next, next is G has a unique minimum spanning tree because as we are distinct, always G has unique minimum spanning tree. So the correct option for this one is C. C is the false statement. Fine. Now. Move on the next problem. So, given is, given is, fine, an undirected graph, given is an undirected graph, G has n nodes, fine, and the matrices is given in n, n into n square matrix. So, the values of matrix are diagonal elements are zeros, non-diagonal elements are 1. It means what? I have a graph. Suppose I have a graph with 4 vertices. 1, 2, 3 and 4. 1, 2, 3 and 4. It means what? 1, <coughs> diagonal element are 0. Other than diagonal element, all values are 1. It means what? It means it is a complete graph. It is a complete graph fine fine so it is a complete graph okay now what is my point g okay diagonal elements are 0 non diagonal elements are 1 fine graph g has no minimum spanning tree suppose its cost is 1 suppose suppose we have the unit cost fine graph g has no minimum spanning tree no this graph has many spanning tree this one, one tree is like this, one spanning tree is this, 
as we already see that we have totals if a graph is complete graph then 2 key power n minus 2 total spanning tree possible. So, what is n number of vertices that is 4 2 key power 4 minus 2 fine. So, we have 2 key power So, we have n key power n minus 2. So, we have 4 key power 4 minus 2 that is 4 square which is going to be 16 fine. Total number of spanning tree possible if my graph has n vertices in a complete graph. In a complete graph if my graph has n vertices then total number of spanning tree possible is n n minus 2. So, we have 4 4 minus 2 which is going to be 4 square that is 16 fine. See now. <coughs> The first option is false because the graph G has no minimum spanning tree. No, we have multiple spanning tree possible. Next, graph G has a unique MST of cost n minus 1. Cost or cost is n minus 1, fine, but it is not unique because here you can see that the cost of E spanning tree is 3, but they are not unique. Graph G has multiple distinct MST, each of cost n minus 1, this is true. And the next one is graph G has multiple spanning tree of different cost. No. If we are finding the minimum cost spanning tree, then cost never be different. Fine. So, the correct answer is we have to find out the true statement and true statement is the C. Now, move on the next problem. Consider a weighted complete graph G of the vertex set. We have vertex set given and the weight of edges are given fine. So, the weight of minimum spanning tree is what? So, we can solve this problem by taking uh, example. So, we have vertex 1, vertex 2, vertex 3 and vertex 4. Fine. So, what are the weights? Weights is 2 into i minus j. 2 minus 1, 1, 1 into 2 is 2, 3 minus 2, 1, 1 into 2 is 2, 4 minus 3, 1, 1 into 2 is 2, 4 minus 1, 4 minus 1, what is 4 minus 1, 3, 3 into 2 is 6, 3 minus 1, 2, 2 into 2 is 4, 4 minus 2, 2, 2, 2 into 4, fine, what is the spanning tree, if you talk about the spanning tree, so my spanning tree is 1, 2, You can apply prints or Kruskal algo, then fine. So, total cost is 6. Now, <coughs> eliminate the options. First, A has n minus 1. The, the weight of minimum spanning tree is n minus 1. n is 4, 4 minus 1, 3. No, my weight is 6. Now, <coughs> I think it is 2n. So, n is 4, 4 into 2 is 8, again 8 is wrong, n square, 4 square is 16 is wrong, but here n is 4, 4 into 2, 8 minus 2 is 6, the, the correct option is B only, fine. So, in this case, you, in this type of problem, you just take a simple graph and try to eliminate the options. So, hardly it will take 30 seconds to 1 minute, so you, these are the easy problems, fine, next. Let W be the minimum weight among all edge weights. Keep in mind, so what is W? W means the minimum weight. It is the minimum weight, fine, of all edges weight in an undirected connected graph, fine. And what is E? Let E be a edge of specific edge of weight W. It means we have a graph, we have a edge and the weight of that edge is W and what is W? It is the minimum weight among all edge weight, fine. So, we have to find out which of the following statement is false, fine, see, fine, it is not a complete graph, fine. So, A, B, C and D, we have 1, 2, 3 and 4, suppose I have one graph or if I will take the repetition of edges. Maybe we can go via this only, fine. So, in this case, suppose because it is the minimum weight W, it is W having weight 1 and it is my E because it is the specific uh, specific edge of weight W. But in this in this case, all of all the weights are minimum. So, you can take you can take this as E because E is a specific edge, fine. Now, 
go for first um, options there is a minimum spanning tree containing e yes there is a minimum spanning tree in this case this is a spanning tree in this case we have many spanning tree but again at least e is there fine true if e is not in minimum spanning tree t i have tree t this is a tree t then in the cycle formed by adding e to t all as have the same weight it means what if e is not in the spanning tree suppose for this particular graph i am making a spanning tree that is this one fine now now what option b says if e is not in a minimum spanning tree no e is not here then in the cycle formed by adding e to t so i am just adding e here yes all edges have same weight yes because that is not initially that is not present and if i add that particular specific edge in my spanning tree then all the edge weight have all the edges have same weight so again b is correct we have to find out the false statement fine next every minimum spanning tree has an edge of weight w so what is weight w w has my minimum weight so every minimum spanning tree has an as of weight w fine we have every spanning tree because the weight is minimum that's why every spanning tree must contain an as of weight w next e is present in every minimum spanning tree false fine so in this case we have this spanning tree in this spanning tree e is not present but yes the minimum weight as must be present but because the weights are repeated in this case so i am considering a, a b as a specific as with the name e but it is not present in my spanning tree because there is a repetition of minimum weight fine that's why e is the correct answer because e is the false statement so you have to like just take always these type of problems you how you can solve it you just make a graph try to make a spanning tree for that particular graph and then try to eliminate the options now let g be a weighted connected undirected graph it's a weighted connected undirected graph the point is distinct weight fine if every edge weight is increased by the same value fine i have a graph distinct value is 1 2 i can say 3 fine this is my graph having node a b c if i can increase the weight fine that is a b c now i can add 10 to every um, edge weight fine 10 plus 1 is 11 10 plus 2 is 12 10 plus 3 is 13 or i can say it is 4 for the, so in this case it is 14 fine now what is saying we have to find out the uh, true statement minimum spanning tree of g does not change c we have to find out minimum spanning tree of g does not change what is the minimum spanning tree of this fine this is the case but in this case again minimum spanning tree is same the second point is shortest path between we are we have to find out the shortest path between any pair of vertices keep in mind any pair of vertices does not change c in this graph in this graph what is shortest path from b to c b to c shortest path is via a only having cost 3 but now b to c path is 14 that is direct b to c path if i go via a then 11 plus 12 23 fine so it is not the shortest path shortest path is 14 so it may change so which of the following statement is true a only fine so these are some of the important problems of spanning tree and again it's a very important um, topic spanning tree you may face at least two to three problem in your nic exam fine and if you have any doubt you can reach out to your pdm nic module so thank you so much